Hi, this is Calacious Designs, and we have a new Scary Terry board that's been out for a while. The Scary Terry ST450 board that includes an MP3 slash wave player on the board. So you no longer have to have sound coming in from another source. And I haven't taken the time to make a video on the features of this board, and so that's what this video is going to cover. I want to quickly go over some of the features that we have on this board. We have an audio in jack just in case you don't want to use the onboard MP3 wave player, but it is there. Audio out jack that can go out to amplifiers and other amplification sources. So we've got that. Um, we've got outputs from this relay here. And a relay is an electromechanical switch and we'll look at the features of that in a bit and we have the power jack then over here we have the connections for the servo uh, connections for controlling uh, high current devices the standard connections on our scary terry board for the LEDIs which can be adjusted to either be on all the time by picking up this header and moving it over there the LEDs will be on all the time and over here they'll be in sync with the sound so they will flash with the sound over here we have some trigger inputs so this can be triggered on a, a motion sensor or a switch or just about anything like that I have brought in all my things to give you a demonstration here. I've got a servo, some LED eyes. So this servo is typically used to move the jaw on a skull, one of our talking skulls. Um, but it could be used for a lot of things. Um, I've got a micro SD card with some audio recorded on it. I've got a little 3 watt speaker. Um, that I can connect into the 3 watt output of this and I've got a power supply so I am going to plug in the SD card I'm going to plug on the servo with the yellow wire going to the pin that has the Y over it there's Y, R, and B for yellow, red, and black. The wire should go in just like that. And then for the LED eyes, we have a header up here with four pins, and up above it, it has plus, minus, plus, minus. The yellow wire on the cable is supposed to go to the plus, and the black to the minus. So I'm going to plug that one on and then I'll plug the next one on and then we're ready to power it up now the first thing you want to do after you power it up is locate the level adjustment which is right down here and you're going to adjust that to where the level LED comes on and with that on then you can set your jaws maximum throw you can see as I adjust that the servo moves and I'm going to set the maximum right there then I'm going to just turn the level knob the other direction until that LED goes out just goes out and then you can adjust the start position of the servo and you want to make sure that the servo isn't slammed all the way um, in one direction and you can kind of hear the uh, motor purring if you've got it slammed further than it should go so you want to make it so it's just so it has just moved a little bit okay we're now ready to play some audio I'm going to hook up the speaker so we can hear it when it plays now when I press the play button, it's going to play the first audio track on the SD card. Now I'm going to press the next button, which will play the next audio track on the 
device. And I could keep doing that. And if I went back to play, playing the pressing the play button, it would play whatever current track it was on. You notice the eyes blink with it. The LED for the relay turns on, meaning the relay's on. When the audio stops playing, the lights are stopped and the relay is turned off. Now if you wanted the lights on all the time, again you could move this jumper over to that position and then your LED eyes will stay on all the time. But if you want them synchronized with the sound, then you put it over on the sync side of that header. Okay, with that I'm going to switch audio cards. Okay, I've put in a new audio card on this. This one has some of Kiba's witch jokes on it. And also if I play this one. So, what's the difference between a cat and a frog? Well, a cat you has see it's life. throwing a little bit too far. <laughs> at least further than I would like it to. It goes almost all the way the whole time. So, you can use the volume adjustment to back that off a little bit. So I'm going to play that again and adjust it while that's playing. So, what's the difference between a cat and a frog? Well, a cat has nine lives, but a frog drops every night. <laughs> so, what's the difference between a cat and a frog? Well, a cat has nine lives, but a frog drops every night. <laughs> Okay, so you can adjust that until you get it about where you like it. And if you only have one track on this SD card, then it'll play that same track every single time it's triggered. And we'll look at triggering it next. Okay, now I'm going to hook up a trigger switch to this. So here's just a standard switch. Uh, two wires. And on this trigger connection over here, we have the signal, ground, and 5 volts. So I'm going to hook either one of these wires up, doesn't really matter, up to the signal. So one of them's going to signal. And you just press down on these little spring-loaded levers, and that allows you to put the wire in. And once the wire's in, it should be good and snug. And the other one I put in the 5 volt section. So now every time I press this, I should get the next audio track. I love to go out dancing, but I've got no body to go with. <laughs> Okay, now, I'm going to disconnect that little 3 watt speaker and I'm going to plug in some amplified computer speakers. So, you could plug in, you could use like a Lapai amplifier, something like this, uh, which will give you a lot more power and big outdoor speakers or something like this but for this we're just going to use some amplified computer speakers I'll turn that up so this time when I'm triggering it it'll play the next track and it should be a lot louder I used to date a ghost but he was too much into the booze every time he had a drink I had to get him off so that's one way of triggering this with a switch. I also have a motion sensor here that I can hook up to this. Press down on those spring-loaded latches to release the connection 
and again on my motion sensor it takes 5 volts has a signal out and a ground wire and the ground wire is black so it's going to go in the middle the signal wire is brown so it's going to go in that first joint and then the red wire is going to go into the one marked 5 volts now when I do this it may immediately start triggering so one thing people often forget about these small motion detectors is they can take 30 to 60 seconds in order to stabilize so during that stabilization time they may repeatedly trigger or may not trigger at all so you need to hook it up to power and let it sit for at least 30 seconds quite often 60 seconds in order to do your tests okay it appears this is stabilized now so I've waited about 30 seconds 30 to 60 seconds now if I move my hand in front of that so is it bad luck to be a immediately black cat? triggered well imagine it is if you're a mouse now that'll go off until the next time something triggers it. I dated a mummy for a short while, but it didn't last. They're so wrapped up in themselves. So those are a couple devices that I've shown that can trigger it. Basically anything that has contacts, like a switch, can trigger it. Or anything like a motion sensor that outputs a voltage again from 3.3 .3 volts to 12 volts can trigger this device and make it play its sound and now I'd like to demonstrate one of the uses of the relay that's on the board you notice that the relay turns on and off when the sound goes when it's in its off position the common lead of that relay connects to another set of contacts. When the audio is playing it connects to a different set of contacts. So I have it set up here so that when audio isn't playing it is connected through a dimmer to this light. So I can set up this light and have it just dimly lighting my prop and providing some light to it so that it can be seen. But then when it's actually triggered and sound plays. I have a witch friend who lives at the beach. We call her the Sand Witch. And you'll notice the light goes back to dim when the audio is done playing. So that's just uh, something I like to do on some of my props. Um, one of the other things you can do is that relay can be used to control a pneumatic cylinder or an electric motor a buzzer, a horn, anything like that. So there's a lot of things you can do with that relay. And again, it provides power to one position when no audio is playing and to another position when it is playing. So hopefully that introduces you a little bit to this new ST450 board. Uh, we hope that you enjoy playing with it and putting it to use in your props.